How would you describe the plot of the movie? Kind of all over the place, okay. but in a good way. Like there's a, I know it's weird, but there's such thing as a good all out of craziness and stuff like that. And that is, I think that movie falls into that category. I mean, it's your choice, you're the audience, but I'd have to describe it as bizarre. So what role do you play in the movie? Uh, I'm a minor director, so I just give some suggestions to play the time turn. Mm -hmm. So uh, they were a pretty big character. They're the antagonist, but also the hero. It's, yet again, weird plot, but we settled eventually on just call, saying protagonist and antagonist, so we understood what was happening. So you said hero and villain, and you're like, wait, which one? Which one is happening right now? Because it could be the superhero, super villain, or just regular hero, regular villain. And of course, we're too lazy to put the word super in front of any word. So we'll just do that. What role do you play in your movie? Uh, I play the guy at the desk. What was the funniest thing that happened while filming your movie? Uh, when Charlie tried to steal the radio uh, on top of the trash can. It's about... Uh, person who discovers that he can stop time. What are you most proud of with your group's movie? I am most proud that my group actually made it through. Hi, I am Abby Barker and I am the co-director. Um, I also hold the mic um, and I play some of the extras in our film. What is your favorite part in filming? Um, I like the day where we had to throw out the storyboards. Um, um, and at the end of our film, instead of using like an actual comic, we used our storyboard because we didn't really have time to come up with the comic. My name is Gavin Bottle and I play Stanley Tempest slash the photographer in Running Out of Time. Oh, what is the funniest thing so far? The funniest thing that happened so far is when Char Charlie tried to steal um, a radio off of the set that we were shooting on. Oh, what is the hardest thing so far? The hardest thing was getting um, a shot where nobody was moving at all, including in the background. All right, I must ask you a question. <laughs> So, what's your name? Uh, I'm Peter. Uh, Peter Kio. Hi, Peter. <laughs> um, what was the most funny thing that happened during filming? At one scene, Charlie, our director, mm -hmm. suddenly saw an old-fashioned radio, and he named it Sonia, <laughs> and he just kept trying to bring it to his home and this quite fun. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so tell me about your movie. What's the plot? Um, mainly uh, protagonist is a villain mm -hmm. and antagonist is a hero. So the hero can travel back in time. So he travels back in time to stop a villain called Photographer and the photographer can stop time and um, so hero uh, uh, hero stops the villain but actually the hero made the villain bad it's really complicated mm -hmm. to explain so what are you most proud of about the movie and the film process I'm mostly proud of that I shoot every scene. Oh yeah. Yeah. You put a lot of work in. Did you play any roles in the movie? No, I did only Just the film? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. I'm here for mental support. Mental support. <laughs> <laughs>
How's it going, Ethan? Okay. All right, villain, which scene is this? Uh, the uprising. What's the uprising mean? What are they uprising against? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Up, they're uprising against you? I am the time villain. I am a strong guy. Oh, um, Ethan's got the script down there, so you want to he hear him out. So what do you think of the film so far? I think it's really creative. These guys are so much fun to work with. I love the energy and they're having so much fun. And how would you describe your movie in five words or less? Um, prepared. <laughs> crazy, crazy, and crazy. That works. 